guys welcome back to another video in dollar divas world thank you so much for joining me and today i have another well i guess you can call it huge it's not tiny <laughs> hobby lobby clearance hall okay guys so i went out of town and of course i don't have a hobby lobby near me so whenever i go out of town i have to take full advantage of the shopping and the places where i know will offer me the best of bargains because you know we're the we're the, the we're the bargain diva around here so if it's not a bargain your girl is not going to bother it okay but i was able to go to another hobby lobby that had a lot of great stuff marked down oh my goodness i was like yes guys this this is where it's at okay but before we get into the haul i would like to show you guys a bit of happy mail and thanks to one of my lovely 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 subscribers miss michelle she sent me this beautiful 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 book which is the cousin to this one she sent me exquisite flowers and as you saw before on my channel i did a flip through of magic garden and i absolutely loved this one and she um contacted me and asked me did i want um exquisite flowers because she was able to find this one and i was like yes and that's how i said it yes <laughs> So thank you so much, Michelle. Oh my goodness, you just don't know, girl, how much I'm like, I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm shaking? I'm so excited. <laughs> so guys, if you would like to see a flip through of exquisite flowers, oh, it's just so beautiful. And guys, oh my goodness, the paper in here, you talk about some card making, getting ready to happen. Ooh, I cannot wait. This is going to make some beautiful you know not only just framed images but it's going to make some beautiful envelopes beautiful card mats card front mats it's just going to be awesome and so guys like the reason i'm i'm like moving over more to adult not adult coloring moving not from adult coloring but why i'm moving over more towards card making is because in your adult coloring you don't get to really share your finished pieces as much they just kind of can sit in a book forever and unless you you know share it on social media or share it like you know frame it up color it for a family member or something they just kind of sit and just never you know look at those roses beautiful never get used so i was like if i you know kind of combined my adult coloring craft with my card making craft I can use a lot of the things I use in my adult coloring, like my finished pieces. I can use them in my card making and then I can give it as a gift and the people will treasure it forever. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, yeah, it's it's easier to give as a gift than than for it just to sit in a book. So, guys, oh, my goodness, if you would like to see a flip through of this beautiful book with this beautiful watercolor type paper and metallic backgrounds, just let me know. So thanks again, Michelle. You rock, girl. Thank you so much. And these books are so heavy, I can't, ugh, I can't even pick them up. There we go. All right, guys. So I am super, super, super excited about this next Hobby Lobby haul. So, Oh my goodness. I don't I just don't know where to start because I, I absolutely love everything I got. So I know where to start. I'm gonna start with the regular price item. I used my 40% off coupon to get these precision tip scissors. And the regular price was $4.99. I used the 40% off, which made them $2.99. And I was very glad to get these. So hey, I needed some scissors because my little scissors was just they were not created for card making. They just was just all over the place. So got these. Item number one. So 
let's start off with the rubber stamps. So we got this rubber stamp here for $1.75. Regular price was $6.99. And it's of the cute little globe. I think that is just so super cute. I can see myself coloring that, making some really cute items. And then we have this one which has an umbrella on it and says life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass it's about learning to dance in the rain that is so true so the regular price on this one was 6.99 paid 175 for it all right next stamps are some background stamps this one it was $2.50 is what I paid, regular price $9.99 for this beautiful background wooden, mount, wood, wooden mounted stamp. Then check out this wood grain stamp, guys, this background stamp, $2.50, regular price. I'm sure it's $9.99. There it is, $9.99. And you can stamp this in black ink, brown ink, just and then you can color it. Just You can do so much with this wood, wood grain stamp. And last but not least in the stamping, we have this background stamp for $2.50, regular price $9.99. Yes. So the next thing, um, I'm going to show you the Bria Reese things I got. This was a large rough roller to create texture on your pieces. Regular price was $3.99. I paid $1.00. And you know, when you see dollar stuff, guys, you just can't leave that there. I mean, like a dollar, you can find a hundred pennies off the ground. So if it's a dollar, I'm like, I don't care what it's used for. Just give it to me. Put it in my basket. <laughs> All right. The next Bria Reese item. Whoa. Stuff's falling everywhere. Okay. Was this um, modeling paste? I thought this was textured paint. Paint modeling paste oh well we'll figure it out um it was two dollars and i don't see a regular price on it but glossy dimension i'm sure i will use it i will find something to use it for yes yes i will okay last but not least in the bria reese collection we have the 75 cent paint writers the heavy body acrylic i have a yellow i have a like navy blue i have a pink these were 75 cents i think regular price on these were like two dollars 250 2.99 i'm not sure but they're 75 cents I have a pink, I have an orange. Now I got some of these in my last haul, but I think I got like three colors and they all were like muted grays. This one is like a turquoise blue. And this one is a green, like a hunter green, pea green, grass green. And then I got, I have this, um, this is not white. It's kind of like a beige taupe cream color. So that's those, okay? Yes, so let's remove all of these. Move these out of the way. I'm so slow, guys, today. I'm so slow because I actually went today, you know, on my trip to Hobby Lobby and I'm like super tired. But I was like, I got to make this video for you guys like today because this stuff has to get put away. And, I, you know, I can't have bags just sitting there for days waiting to share with you guys because I share with you guys just about everything. I mean, I love you guys. You guys rock. You're awesome. So, you know, we're fam. You're the Dollar Diva fam. So we have to stick together. We have to share what we have with the fam <laughs> okay guys moving on moving on okay 
All right, guys, let's see. We have some bamboo sable hair brush sets. Yes. Regular price was $13.99, paid $3.50. And there are three sizes in here. And I've never had a sable brush set and this is for manuscript and they get a fine tip on them guys i'm excited because these are like great quality super good quality on those and here we have the creta color i was so excited to find these guys pastel pencils you know i love me some pastel pencils regular price on these were 13.99 sale price three dollars and fifty cents and these are two different sets two different colors and i knew i wanted these i knew i would love these because i use my creta color heart pastel set so much these are like my favorite pastels like these and the, the Prismacolor new pastels, I use them all the time and I use these all the time. So I knew I would like um, these because I love my credit color um, heart pastels. So there are eight pencils in here and they're Artist Studio. So here are the colors in this one. And this one is call the figure study basics so it looks like these are more skin tones they have like a cream a light gray a, like a pastel peachy color kind of a white black brown burgundy orange these look like more skin tone colors so yeah you get more skin tones in that one and there's a third set i believe but they only had these two I wish I could have found that third set. I would have gotten it, okay? This one is the Nature Collection. So there are eight pencils in here, and those are your colors. Can you see them? You have your kind of burnt ochre, your yellow ochre, your three different color greens, like a lime green, grass green, hunter green. You have your brown, you have your like burnt sienna type of brown, you have your light blue, and you have like a brown ochre looking one. So that's how they look. Pastel, there are no names on them, but I love pastel pencils. Oh my goodness, guys, if you would like to see a video how I use my pastel pencils let me know I use them in pretty much everything in my adult coloring from backgrounds um, to just creating a background that I can smudge like a sunset um, creating uh, like floors let me give you an example of what I use my wood pastels my wood pastels <laughs> my soft pastels okay my pastel pencils get it right nisa this was pastel pencil work here all of this all of the brown all of the black in that woodwork is pastel pencils this background wall here that's pastel pencil because i did not when you're lazy pastel pencils are the way to go when you're like i don't feel like you know doing a whole bunch of pencil work coloring pastel pencils because you can smudge it guys and work it work it all over your page that's the pastel pencil there and where else i think that's it for the pastel pencils on this one and let me show you the pastel pencil work in this one i did the sky here with the pastel pencils and I don't think I did anything else with the pastel pencils, but yeah, I did the sky because I was lazy and I was like, no, not doing it. So the sky was done with the pastel pencils. Okay, next. Okay, guys, next, 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 next. Come on, next. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to what to pull out for you guys. Next, we have a Stampabilities Ink Pad Embossing Clear Ink Pad. Regular price was $2.99. Got it at for $8.50. Because I really want to try embossing. 
And they also had the embossing powder, some of the embossing powders on sale. The designer series, I got a violet one. Regular price was $5.99, got it for $1.50, like a lavender. Well, it's violet, it says violet, but it looks lavender to me. Next, we got for the same price, $5.99, paid $1.50, the fern green. And the reason I got this, guys, and didn't just use eyeshadow or like soft pastels is because this is like super, super fine. The powder is so fine. I figured, hey, let me try this. Let me try what's supposed to be embossing powder. See how fine that powder is? This one is a Tiger Lily Orange. So I figured, hey, I can try it out. And hey, it was on sale, $1.50. That, that rocks, that's awesome. Next, I found these Dr. P.H. Martins. These are calligraphy colors, and these are shimmery. This one is the Frosted Peach, and I was looking for all of the different colors that were on sale, but not many. I guess people had gotten them all. Regular price, $8.99. Sale price, $2.25. And I don't know if these are, oh, okay, there it is. Uh, shimmering Interface, Interreference, Interference. I can't read. <laughs> shimmering Interference Waterproof Colors. Light, fast, calligraphy, blah, blah, blah. The rest is covered up, and I can read it to you later if I get another one out. Okay, got that one. Got this one, and I love the iridescent colors. I would wish I could have found more colors because I had been seeing these hauled and couldn't find them at the other Hobby Lives I went to. So $8.99, $2.25. This one is Crystal Mint, and it says a little bit more is not covered here. For calligraphy, rubber stamping, yay! And what does the rest of it say? It says flows evenly and steadily, steady off the pen tip, no start and stop marks. Okay, so maybe I can use the this ink with my manuscript sable hairbrushes. Yes. And it's got a little whatever right there, but that's okay. And then I got this one was 225. And this was this is Dr. PH Martin's black something black star waterproof india ink Ooh, okay regular price 10.99 sale price 225 and this one is 100 percent carbon black pigment extreme opacity on paper vellum drafting film and acetate hmm nice i wanted i really wanted to find a black another black ink pad but because my dollar tree ink pads had dried out well they were dried out when i bought them so no ladies and gentlemen i did not let my stamps dry out <laughs> so these were the dollar tree stamps so hey i figure it's dried out i can use this maybe and put it on this stamp ink pad and kind of re-ink it. Next item, I was so excited to find. Yes, guys, I have some Copic markers. Woo woo! Copic sketch markers. They were marked down from $7.99, I believe. I saw the price on the rest of them and these were the only two colors left. So I got two of them, sell price $2.00. So I got the gray sky and the begonia. And they are the double ended, one end brush tip and the other end is the chisel tip. So I got two Copic markers and I wasn't gonna get like 10 cause 10 Copic markers would have been like $20. And I was like, no, I'm not paying $20 for markers. But they did have the Prismacolor um, markers for $20. I didn't need them. I have enough markers. I was only getting things I really, 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 really wanted. So I wasn't going around getting just willy nilly stuff. Okay, guys. Next, we have an emboss and punch. Mm. Emboss and cut in one punch. Yeah. 
This was regular price $14.99, regular price $3.75. I got the butterfly shape one and I got the heart shape one. Now guys, let me tell you something about this Hobby Lobby clearance sale. Okay, one of you lovely, lovely, lovely subscribers mentioned a very good point. You mentioned that these things that Hobby Lobby has on clearance, because we all know that these prices are exorbitant. We know that these prices are just, they're way overpriced than what you could possibly find the exact same thing at another store that's not a crafting store or online. You can find that exact same thing for like half the price right off, right off. Like Prismacolor, their Prismacolor is like the $20 sale that they have, you can probably find Prismacolor markers that same amount for $20 on Amazon. We know this. But that subscriber, let me see, what was her name? I don't remember. But anyway, but you know, I love you. I know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> she mentioned that the, the markdown prices are the prices that we want to pay anyway. So you know how a lot of us, including myself, we mention the regular price, right? And we're like, ooh, this is such a good deal. It was $13.99 and now it's only $3.50. And then what they're doing is for a lot of us, we are just purchasing this stuff because we see what the regular, regular, I have air quotes, regular prices were. And we're like, oh, that's such a good deal. Let me get it. But when actuality, that, that markdown price is probably a little lower than what you would normally pay for this item on the regular site of where you can purchase this item or Amazon or eBay or somewhere similar. So this clearance is kind of fooling some of us, including myself, is kind of fooling some of us to think that, oh, this is worth so much more, let me get it. When in actuality, you can actually get a lot of this stuff at that at that clearance price or a little bit above it. So they're kind of kind of conditioning us to just buy, 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 buy mindlessly thinking that, oh, we're getting such a humongous deal, which we are, because if it wasn't on clearance, we would have had to pay regular price for it and use like the coupon for one item. And that that's they're just allowing us to get a bunch of this stuff you know, um, at a good deal at a good price, but this is the price that we want to pay anyway. Cause most of us will go in that store and we'll see these pencils for $13.99 and we will pay us right by them. Okay. Just be like, mm -mm, no, but by them marking it down, clearancing it, we are stocking up. So what I said to myself, especially thank you subscriber thank you commenter I don't know if you're a subscriber but please subscribe if you're not <laughs> thank you for making that comment to kind of bring me to that realization to stop looking at that regular price and just buy what I can afford and buy what I want don't just buy based on oh that's a hundred dollars and it's marked down to 20 let me get it Thank you for helping me to realize that don't go by these regular prices because these regular prices are exorbitant. They're like ridiculous. They're not really realistic prices. So just wanted to throw that in there. That's all. That's all I wanted to do, guys. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Next in the pencil category are these Karen Dash color pencils. They're permanent soft lead pencils and the regular price on these were $8.99 regular price $2.25 for 12 pencils and I was super happy to find these although they're the student grade you know when it's Faber Castell or um Karen Dash I don't care if it's the student grade I'm like that's better than Crayola <laughs> you know you know i know you know so these are the school line and last but not least in the ink and pencil area we have the fiber castell gel sticks and i was looking so much like looking so 
tediously and hoping so much that the Faber Castell gelatos were going to be like marked down because I saw one lady haul the like six pack and they were not on clearance. So I was like, Pfft. they didn't even have the six pack though. Um, they only had the big pack. But I was happy to find these because it says that they are water soluble. They um, were $14.99. And they were marked down to $3.75. So I was happy to find these because it says with these you can create watercolor paintings, vibrant colors, and unbelievably smooth. So it's um, they have the resist technique that you can use with them, the watercolor effects, and the blending and mixing. So they're supposed to be water soluble. So I can't wait to try these out. So there's 12 of those. So that's the pencil and marker and inking think I'm a Bobby <laughs> section of this video so I have one more tiny 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 amount of stuff left to show you guys and that will be the end of my haul but let me show you. Let me show you guys. All right. So next we have these. Okay. This is not a hardcover journal, but this is a soft cover journal. Well, not soft, but it's of like a fluffy type of, <laughs> not fluffy. Do you see fluff here? No. <laughs> it's squishy. But anyway, regular price on this is $9.99 and it's marked down to $2.50. And aren't these colors just beautiful? Let me open it up for you guys. This is a journal, yes, $2.50. And it's a bright stripe hardcover journal, but the cover is squishy. It's like, yeah, it's not super like hard. It's kind of like a bubble front. Okay, so this says it's a journal, but this paper is nice, guys. No line. This is more like an art journal. I would use this for like sketching and stuff. And it has the ribbon here, your page, you know, um, divider thing, ribbon. You know what it is. You'll see it. I saw My words don't don't come to me right now okay so we got that one super pretty next we have this one i was like so excited to find this one i should have gotten another one because this is so pretty let me take it out come on this one is a um sketchbook it says it's a brown pu journal 60 sheets 120 GSM white sketch paper with an elastic band and a pocket inside. Oh, guys, look. Oh, take me back to get another one. It was $250, regular price $9.99. It has the pen holder right here. And then it has the ribbon, not ribbon. Now, see, now I can think of the word ribbon, okay? It has the elastic band to put it on the side. And it says it has a pocket in here. We'll see. Oh, this paper is so nice. Oh, it feels like like a little, it's the texture is super textured now. So if you don't like textured paper, these are not the books for you. It has the big ribbon. Look at that big ribbon. So nice. And the seams, it's not glued together, it's sewn together. And it says it has a pocket somewhere. There's the pocket. Look at that. Nice. Oh my goodness, guys. I promised myself that I would stop buying two of things. This is hard. This is really hard not to want to go back and get another one. Because it's so pretty. It's like leather and it's so pretty. $2.50. Last journal. Well, actually, this is not a journal. This one says this one was two dollars. Regular price seven ninety nine. This one says it's a hardcover sketchbook with one hundred GSM paper. Now, see how that's a sketchbook, and this one has two one hundred and twenty GSM. It's nicer. 
this one i'm not crazy about the look of it but whatever it has my favorite color on it it has a stretchy band it does not have a um ribbon inside it has that same paper no 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 this paper looks cream and this paper oh come on open this paper is white oh different color paper you see that that's nice okay i'm liking that this has the cream cake paper and are, is there a pocket in the back no this is more like cheaper this should have been like a dollar 75 it shouldn't have been two dollars and the front cover it looks cheap it looks super cheap 64 sheets and this one has 60 sheets and this other one has 56 sheets this one has 56 sheets This one has 60 sheets and this one has, okay, stuff is falling, put that over there. This one has 64 sheets, so this one has more paper. Okay, 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 that's fine, all right. Next, keeping in line with the paper, we have this Essentials color marker artist pad regular price was $3.99 I paid one dollar so marker paper I don't see like the weight on it oh yes I do 56 pound now how marker paper I wonder what's the difference between regular sketch paper or watercolor paper or whatever and marker paper because it's only 56 pound 90 gm gsm whatever I got it because it was a dollar. It was a dollar. Next, we have our one and only coloring book, which is the Jazz Age Fashions. It was regular price $5.99. Got it for $1.50. I like that one. It's pretty. I like it. And next, last but not least, we have the paper crafts. Paper crafts, paper crafts. I found this apartment 405 large card stock paper pad with the 60 sheets in it. Now, guys, I know this probably looks familiar to you. Rewind. I know this probably looks familiar to you because on my last haul, I showed you the smaller version of this one. Now, what I figured I can do with this is I can make the envelopes with this one and I can do my card mats, my card fronts with this one. So I can have the matching envelopes and then make the card with the smaller one. Okay. Ugh. Man, these, these, these books pads are heavy. Next, we got the botanicals card stock. And I really like this one, guys. It is so pretty. It was $5, regular price $19.99. And look at all of those designs. You have your butterflies. You have leaves. It's just so pretty. So pretty. All of those designs that's on the front, that's what's in the inside. And last but not least, guys, our last item was this huge mangas. Now, this one, this one is so much thicker than the rest of them. Look at the difference. Look, that's double. That's double. Yep. It says it's 180 sheets, 60 designs of three each. I was so happy to find this. It was not marked but it was $19.99 and it was marked down to five dollars they had to go and get the girl over the department and ask her and see and all that good stuff but I was holding on to this because it was the last one I was holding on to it like I'm not going anywhere till you find out if that's five dollars and it was this big puppy mine 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 <laughs> Now it has all these beautiful sheets in it and I gotta I gotta open it to show you guys even though all of these are in the front all of the um but it has all the different color like color combination this is so nice guys and why can't I open this 
this is super nice i feel like and this is textures too so entirely textured so there's a, a one somewhere out there and i wish i could have gotten it because these make awesome 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 um envelopes and i just learned how to make the envelopes guys so i'm happy you know what i'm just gonna try to cut this with these scissors because i don't have time to be trying to trying to figure out come on now come on now come on work with me and we'll just fold that back on over there yep figured that out <sighs> look at that <clears throat> isn't that nice look at that oh my goodness it's like red brick looking Ooh, look at that i'm not gonna go through this whole thing with you i promise this paper feels it's not like the other paper maybe that's why it's so many sheets in here it's a different it's a different texture maybe that's why they have so many in this one look at the pink bricks yes that's me that's me right there yes oh that's so pretty okay so i guess it's a lot of the same textures but different colors because see i've saw that i've seen that in the in the dark pink and you have the blue yeah they have a lot of the same designs look at that light blue brick so <sighs> love it so guys there you have it there is my hopefully last hobby lobby clearance haul and when i say hopefully it's my last i i really mean i hope i find more of what i'm looking for because <laughs> i'm still in search of the tim holtz distress crayons and tim holtz distress inks they had the tim holtz distress crayons and the distress inks at this hobby lobby but they were not on clearance i don't know if they've already gotten rid of what they're going to clearance and they just keeping those few but they weren't on clearance and i'm still like wanting those but i don't have to have them if i don't ever find them that's fine so I'm going to stay out of Hobby Lobby. I mean, it's not that hard to do because the closest one is like an hour and a half, almost two hours away from me. So that shouldn't be very hard to do to stay out of Hobby Lobby, okay? <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Comment below and let me know what's your favorite item that I found and what, what would you do with it? You know, what are you in search for? Have you guys been checking out your Hobby Lobbies? Have you found some good stuff? What's your favorite thing that you have found at Hobby Lobby that you've gotten? All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me again. Please subscribe. Please comment below whatever you want to talk to me about. I will get back to you because you're Dollar Diva fam. And please like this video so more people can find my channel and find these videos and we can all just grow together. <laughs> So guys, I will be talking to you guys in the next episode. So talk to you later. And as always, we're going to change it up on this video. Instead of saying happy coloring, we're going to say happy crafting. Bye.